tell you I could bottle that. Lovely. Cuckoo! I saw this dude on Instagram. He's actually funny, but you can only take so much of him. It's kind of cringe, you know, these, these things people do on Instagram is pretty funny, actually. But uh, anyways, I'm just sitting here in kind of in awe a little bit, to be honest. Uh, I feel like this is funny. And yes, I bought the truck, if you're all wondering. I did buy the truck. And I gave that truck every opportunity to go away from me and not be part of my life. I gave it every opportunity to run and it didn't. I went away, I went away for a week, I went away for another week and it was still there and I stopped him. Me and my wife were down at Honda and I was like, please go away, not be there and I won't have to buy you. And it was waiting there. Not only was it waiting there, friends, a couple people tried to buy it and they took it out for test runs and their financing fell through or who knows what happened. But it, every time I went there, it was there. So that's the last video you saw of me, right? That was the last video you saw. And, and that was me testing it and uh, taking it out for a run. to see if it covered the, the things I need. Uh, it's pretty simple. I want a nice ride for long hauls. Uh, I'm excited, friends. It's a five liter. So it's it's old school. I think it's on the scale of like, uh, what do you call them? Uh, trim packages, like, you know, the Lariat's up there, the King Ranch, like King Ranch, Lariat, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm down here. <laughs> I'm like XLT. Dude, that's me. I'm the XLT dude, the custom cab fella. But in these trucks these days, friends, the things that are standard are like creature comforts like you wouldn't believe, like the moonroof. It's not a four by. You don't want to take that thing smashing buggy and through the, it's not a, what do you call it? Raptor. You'll, you'll be leaking in the sunroof. They're notorious for it. It's a way to get around and have comfort for my wife and I. It's going to have leather seats. My wife taught me into leather because she explained it to me like, you're dirty is what she said to me. You're dirty. And you'll just say, ah, it's a truck. And I would say, yes, you're correct. I would say that. And, but, so there's a, a thought process behind it of kind of keeping it a little nicer than my other ones and work the trucks that can handle the work tomorrow. Me and Hogan are out cutting trees tomorrow. We got to look at it. Actually, I'll show you the job we looked at, and we'll probably cut this tree down, uh, tree job down tomorrow. So I have some tree cutting footage for you. I'll see if I can get Hogan to wear a GoPro on his hat because all the work's up there. So, friends, we're at the Leduc's. We've done lots of tree work here through the years. There's actually video of me and Hogan in this one, or just myself. Spiral thinning. There was a well. I logged this actually. I logged this property back here. I logged it years ago with Walker Addison. And as you can see, all the new gen there. So I, I talked to her about these because when you stop logging, you just, you stop. And, and you're up against people's houses and these big winds come in. So this makes me so happy to see that these have stood the test of time with a nice spiral thinning. I've got videos of this, friends, years ago. These turned out spectacular. You'd never know we're in them. They just, and friends, they were hit hard, like thinned out, like, you know, this type of treatment, that, 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 leave air in, you know what I mean? It's such an amazing thing to do to these big firs after you change the ceilings, like logging. This is, you know, Hogan does a lot of this stuff too. He does the wind firming. It's, it's actually called wind firming. Spiral thing is kind of a residential tree game jargon, but it, it, I'm a huge believer in it. Huge believer in it done it for years and it it's for you know keeping these big stands of timber healthy and moving through we have a we have a situation here actually uh this one blew over it's on the road so who knows it could have had back in the days of right away and when they put this road in it could have had a, a the, the roots ripped off this side 
Look at this thing, friends. She's blown right over. I'm gonna see if Hogan's uh, able to come by. I would not, oh man, that'd be nice to just. But we'll get Hogan in. He's at, he's at a camp right now. We'll get him to climb up this one. Maybe come in and crack the top off of that or something. Cause it's not, it's not looking good there. You see, I'll take this video for Hogan. A nice healthy one there, but it's leaning out hard. So it, it broke, you see friends? It, it, it uprooted and we had a big wind. You can see the roots broken there. See that? Broken there, uprooted here. There's, there's some roots, but that's a good sign. See the root, good and solid. There's a little bit of root rot I saw. So I'm thinking because the back was probably torn off it in its original making, friends, do you know what I mean? That it was susceptible and finally the right circumstances let it go. But look what's holding it up. Look at this cedar tree right here, this little guy. It's about a 14, 16 inch tree. And look at this. <laughs> She's cranked right over. So it's on that and then it's, we can climb up this big fir. I was thinking I could let it go, but it's too close to the house down there. It'll smash the house. And we're not doing that. So it's right up against this fir. Look. See it? So a guy goes up this tree. And he utilizes the, uh, the height. And there should be room to let it go down in there. Uh, and I, I, I'm close, but I'm, I'm not that close. So I don't want to do it. So it'll be fun for me and Hogan to work together. Thanks for the live feed friends today. That was a lot of fun. I'm trying out my new lamp here. Look at this. It's kind of a new lamp my wife got for me on, what do you call it? Yeah, Amazon. Amazon. So look friends, I can go like this now, right? Watch. And it's like a more level playing ground. Like it's, I don't know, it just feels a little more professional. Check this one out too. This might, this might excite you. Oh. Is that a nice light? How do you like this light? No. That one's better, she says. Ah, that is better, actually. That's a nice light right there. Let's leave it. So it's got all these different things. I'm pretty excited about it. it friends, you know me. I get excited about the simple things. So you can imagine what this truck's doing to me. It's got sport mode, friends. Sport mode. You take off the freaking traction control and you hit the sport mode. You'll burn the rubber thread clean off that sucker. <laughs> Anyway, here's a little peek at the, at the truck. Um, and we'll just go up and have a look at this tree job real quick. And I'll show you the video that I sent Hogan so you can see what we're going to be doing tomorrow. I love these friends. Work hard, be honest, and be kind. Thanks for all the, the warm, warm comments that you guys always put in this comment section of ours. And I'm looking super, super forward to this year. To be an empty nester now, to not have to worry about your children and, and just grab your bride and you go we just go that's exciting to us see you on the road well friends this is uh one step closer to perhaps something i just heard a noise as i came in the myrtle grunted old myrtle so think so think about this friends 2020 right right there mm -hmm. 2020 1967 Ford truck. Very interesting. Okay, so friends, listen, I'm just a mechanical mind. That's all I am. I'm a mechanical mind. I've driven automatics, standards. I, I'm a stick man at work, but on pleasure, obviously I'm, a, I'm an auto man. I'm talking trannies. Now these freaking transmissions, friends, these are pretty advanced. 10 speed, never mind that. Sport mode, freaking normal mode. If you guys want my opinion here on, on how this affects temperature of the tranny, obviously you know it's worse on gas in sport mode, but it allows, like, this is simplicity to me. This all makes sense to me, even though it's new technology. I almost think you're better even though you're going to burn more fuel, I actually think it's better for the tranny in sport mode. I have no idea. I have nothing to back this up except a mechanical mind and what the transmission is doing. Right now, I'm going 60 kilometers an hour. I'm in sixth gear, okay, sixth gear at about 15, 1600 RPM, okay? 
well, I was going to show you, but I'm, you're looking at me. I am freaking loving this thing thus far. Okay, 10 speed transmission, F150 2020 yeah, XLT, basic model. Not very basic to me, this thing's nuts. I'm driving down the road right now. We're gonna talk drive modes for a second, okay? But I'm actually gonna switch the camera and I'm gonna show you some stuff on here which changes the performance, gas mileage, I think wear and tear on the transmission, which is important with a 10 speed transmission. I honestly think just because I'm a mechanical mind, I'm going to give you my opinion on it. And that's all it's going to be. We're driving down the road. Okay. Notice RPM and notice gears. We're in sixth gear. We're driving down the road in sixth gear at 60, almost not even 60 kilometers an hour at about 1600 RPM, okay? We're in sport mode, friends, sport mode. Look at the gears, we're in sixth. Watch when I touch the throttle. I just touched it, it went to fourth. Instantly to fourth gear and RPM up, okay? Now, I'm going down here to this little button here, that DM button right there, and I'm gonna change it and you're gonna watch what happens when I change it. Watch this. You can do it on the fly. Boom, boom, let's go to normal. Okay, now we're at normal. Let's watch what happens to the transmission and the RPM, okay? We are now at one RPM. Pretty much, we're in seventh gear and we're about 50 kilometers an hour. Coming up on 60 kilometers an hour, we're in eighth gear. Look at the RPM. Do you guys understand me? What I'm talking about here? 60K, eighth gear. 1200 RPM. Are you feeling me? There's no need for a vehicle. There's no need for a transmission to go up and down that crazily. It's gonna be a little different in your shifting. You'll notice it. Uh, personally, just personally, I am a hot rodder, but I'm not being biased. I personally think you're gonna get, obviously you're gonna get better gas mileage in automatic mode or uh, normal mode, but in sport mode, I think it's safer. And if you wanna know my honest, honest opinion, being a mechanical mind, is that it's easier on the transmission in sport mode. Tell me what you think. I don't know. This is literally my first day with this truck. And I just figured this stuff out. Take that. Okay, so as you can see, she's a little frosty out. You can see here, we've got, well, it's frozen. It's frozen. Know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So this is, this is something I kind of, this is something I never thought I would have in my life. <laughs> That was me. I have a truck that I can start from my chair when it gets cold. And I can go out and open the door and climb into a warm truck. Work hard, be honest, and be kind. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.